In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get access to the new ChatGPT code interpreter. So firstly, what is the code interpreter? The ChatGPT code interpreter is an experimental plugin that adds powerful functionality to ChatGPT, allowing users to generate and run Python code, handle file uploads and downloads, and create data visualizations based on conversational inputs. While the plugin has some limitations, it has the potential to be a valuable tool for data processing, data visualization, and automation tasks. Now let's talk about how this actually works. The Code Interpreter plugin is evaluated in a persistent session that is alive for the duration of the chat. When a user requests the plugin to run a command, the plugin generates a Unix session ID and spins up a new sandbox environment to execute the command. The environment includes a Python interpreter and limited selection of libraries, along with some ephemeral disk space. Once the command has been executed, the plugin analyzes the output and can use it in another function. This means that users can string together different functions to achieve more complex tasks, all within the ChatGPT interface. So basically how it works is that you upload the file directly to ChatGPT and then you are able to perform data analysis writing different prompts. This is how it's going to look like directly in ChatGPT. You are going to have this drop down menu, then there's going to be an option for you to choose code interpreter. They describe it as an experimental model that can use Python and handles uploads and downloads. So right now let's talk about how you can actually get access to this. On the OpenAI blog, they wrote on the 23rd of March, 2023, that they begin extending plugin alpha access to users and developers from their waitlist. While they initially started prioritizing a small number of developers and ChatGPT plus users, they plan to roll out larger scale access over time. But unfortunately, they don't say what over time means and how long it's going to take to roll this out to the public. But there are two steps that you can do to be prioritized to get access. The first one is that they mention that they are prioritizing ChatGPT plus users. So that means if you are a ChatGPT plus subscriber, meaning you are paying monthly subscription for the ChatGPT 4.0 version, you are going to be prioritized over those who don't pay. The second step that they mention is that you have to be part of the waitlist. If we click on the waitlist link, you are going to be redirected to a form that you should fill out. It says here, ChatGPT plugins waitlist. We are extending plugin access to users and developers. We are initially prioritizing a small number of users and developers who have ChatGPT plus and plan to roll out larger scale access over time. So the second thing you should do is that you should fill out this form to get um, on the waitlist to be prioritized to get access to the ChatGPT code interpreter. You fill out your first name, last name, email, country of residence, then would you be willing to provide feedback about your plugin experience? Yes and no. Then they are asking you, how do you want to use the plugins? And here you have to choose the first one. I want to try plugins in ChatGPT. And this is going to roll out additional two questions. The first one is how are you using ChatGPT? So you can uh, choose uh, from personal work and education, or you choose all of them. And then the last question is the most important. Here they are asking you which plugin are you primarily interested in. You want to obviously choose the code interpreter. And then you click on join waitlist. After you fill out the form, you are immediately going to receive a confirmation email that looks like this. Thank you for joining the ChatGPT plugin waitlist. To balance capacity with demand, we will be sending invites gradually over time. So again, they don't specify exactly when you are going to receive the access to the plugin, but based on what they write on their blog, you know that the ChatGPT subscribers are prioritized. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching this quick tutorial how you can get access to the ChatGPT code interpreter. If this was helpful in any way, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you're interested in AI and marketing. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.